Okay. So let's put three more lines on here. You can do them in whatever order. I'm just going to keep looking down this way. So we're still in the positive. So we go one on the X. So over one. And then up to one, two. And you don't want to put all your dots first, then try to make your lines because you will forget which dots go with which line. Over two, up four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Over five, up ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The top one there. Take my ruler. If you don't have one, just make the straightest line you can. And along those three dots, I put a line with arrows at the end because lines go on forever. And I label that line y equals 2x. I can just label it right on the line down here out of the way too. Just keep your labels out of the way. Don't put them right here in the middle. You'll get confused. Okay, let's do the next one over here where my finger is. This time we're going to go over 5 on the X and then up 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 0. So I put a dot right on the X axis. Over 6, up 1. So I go 1 more than 5, up 1, right there. And then over 10, up 5. I know 10 is my last one. And then up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You usually want to have three dots, but you can get away with two dots. Once I have three dots, I know I can make a nice straight line. Come through. And then I want to label it here at the end somewhere. Y equals X minus 5. That's this line. And then finally, 3 and 1. So I go over 3, up 1. 1, 2, 3. And you can see it's getting crowded. This is why you do one at a time. Over six, up two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Over nine, up three. I know nine is right here. One, two, three. So this is going to kind of be like a flatter line here. Line up my three dots on my ruler. Make a line with arrows at the end. And this is y equals x divided by 3. I'm going to label it over here where I have more room. x divided by. And so now I have my four lines. And that's what this looks like. A lot going on. Pause it there if you're catching up. Okay, let's look at the bottom. Might have to go into a second or third video here, but that's okay. Complete the given table and then graph. So the rule for this first table is 3x. And so we're going to do that. So this is our x side, our y side. It always works like that. And you want to pick numbers that are going to fit onto the graph. So somewhere under 10 or under. Don't go huge. So say our x is 1. Our rule is 3 times x. So we do 3 times 1 is 3. Let's try 3. 3 times 3 is 9. But look, if I went bigger, I'm going to go over 10. So let's stay with like 2. It's okay that it's out of order. 2 times 3 is 6. 0. 0 times 3 is 0. So I could have a 0, 0 point. So it's okay because it got out of order, but I didn't want to get bigger than 10 or it wouldn't fit on my graph. My other one is x minus 2. Okay. Well, now that I'm getting smaller, I could start with 10, minus 2 is 8. I could go to 8, minus 2 is 6. I could go to 6, minus 2 is 4. I could go to 4, minus 2 is 2. And then I will put them on the graph in the next video.